how to create animated presentations with canva hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you how we can create animated presentations using canva it's very easy and it's also going to be a very a very good hack and a very impressive thing that you can pre presentation and it's going to be a little bit you know animated and it's going to be very interactive so let's get into the video okay so let's start this is the canva homepage, and when you uh, i'm already signed and you're logged in it's very easy you just have to create your account add in your email and password and then you can continue with canva so right now i'm using the free version so how we can get your presentation animated so for that i'm going to start creating a presentation and then i will show you guys how we can continue with that so here you can see that this is an option to create a presentation so uh with canva you can create documents you can create whiteboards you can create video you can have instagram posts and there are a lot of things that you can create with canva so right now i am going to create presentation so that's why i am on to the presentations and i'm going to click on that and it is taking me basically into the creation of the presentation or any creation that I want to create on Canva. So this is the page where the creation happens. So right now I am creating a presentation. It is basically giving me a blank format. So I'm just going to insert a template right here in order to ease up the process of animation because if I start having everything, you know, if I start adding anything manually, so it will take me a lot of time. So I'm just going on to my presentation template and I'm going to have some kind of, you know, template inserted right here. Then I will show you guys how we can animate it. So for example, this one right here it is a complete creative portfolio or you can see that it is a competitive analysis so i'm just going to enter that in and here you can see that apply all 16 pages i'm going to apply all the 16 pages right here and you can see that this is the page one and i'm going to get all of the pages in, in these sections right here okay so all of my template has been added as my own presentation now i can edit or animate each one by one so here you can see that first of all the first thing that you can animate when coming on to canva is by this option which is uh, right here so this says animate just click on that and you're going to see all of the animated combinations so first of all you have the simple combination then you have a sleek combination then you have a fun combination you have incorporate you have a disco combination of how you can uh, enter the animate the things then you have a simple party combination as well then you have a chill combination as well so these are all the combinations that you can use in order to animate your own presentation homepage. then you have some basic rise pan fade then you have your breathe and then you have your tectonic etc then you have your simply exaggerate like you have your blog you have a scrapbook you have a neon as well you have a tumble or you have a stomp so these are all the animations that are available for you in order to animate this specific page so i'm going to add this party right here because it is going well with the competitive analysis so i have added this animation right here and now this page is of 5.5 seconds and this is basically it has become a short video or gif coming on to the next page i can also add animations to the text for example this is the text that i have right now i'm going to select this and i I have some kind of animations for text as well for example this uh, text is going to be pan fade breathe tectonic drift i have baseline pop so these are all the text animations available as well for example this is a shift this is a burst and this is a b-roll and this is a skate so i'm just going to add this animation like this on text so on enter or on exit or on both so i'm just going to add on both and you can see that my text has been animated now i'm going on to the page animations and i can see that you can add page animations to that as well for example like this or like this you can add any animation that you want let's say i want to add this league animation and then i have a page animation and a text animation as well okay so coming on here you can see that you can animate the whole page after that there are some other things that as well how you can animate it that is by adding different kind of confettis or different kind of elements of animation for example when you go on to the elements you can add different kind of animations here so that your page will look animated for example i want to add confettis so i'm just going on here and i'm going to search confettis okay so here is an option of these graphics confettis for example i will use this one and i use it going to use it like i'm going to drop it here and it is going to uh, animate the whole introduction part of me and it is basically going to show that okay it is going to basically live it up a little bit so this is how you can animate your mm, progress as well and then you can have your animated options other you can add other animated options as well for example right here you have your emojis so i'm just going to search for emojis or emoticons 
right here so here you can see that i have these emojis which are actually a little bit live for example this so instead of these uh, static emojis i'm going to add these emojis right here so it will basically live it up a little bit and it is basically more interactive instead of those static emojis so you can add a, you can replace all of these emojis by this and you can see it will basically light it up and uh, it will uh, have a very good effect on that now let's begin are you ready or something like that so the whole the back page of this whole presentation is already very static it is very non-attractive so how you can change that is you can change the whole background to a picture which is actually uh, some kind of you know revolving or which is some kind of moving so going on to the elements once again i'm going to search for you know the gadgets or something like that and here you can see that now i have the graphics then i have photos then i have videos so coming on to uh, videos i am going to see some because these are going to be a moving video so here you can see that it is a seven seconds video and it is moving so let's see this is a nine seconds video and you can see that it fitted just like that here and i'm going to basically drag it down to fit the whole theme like this and i'm going to basically send it back arrange it and send to back completely okay so here you can see that now it's gonna be like whenever i place it uh, so it is going to be a revolting background for the whole thing so let's say i want to delete this whole page of white i'm just going to delete that so here you can see that let's begin now uh it is going to be a very revolting thing and it looks very good so you can animate your video or your presentation this too and you can animate the whole thing and it's going to look very good so you can animate the, some of these pages like that you can basically add some of other uh, elements and confettis into it and then you can continue by creating your own uh, animation or your own uh, presentation after you're done with everything you will have a very good looking very attractive presentation for you so you can see that a lot of things in our template in our presentation are now animated like this so when you search for elements or moving elements you can just you know, these are not the only things that you can add like for example if you're looking to add something very normal like for example let me tell you like we have a mic and we want to show something that is related to mic or recording or something like that what you can do is you can instead of just still pictures you can add a graphic which moves or which animates itself so there are some options in which you can also add these kind of videos and they're gonna move around in the background that as i've just showed you you can do is you can just go onto your graphics and you're going to find the moving graphics or gifs that you can use as well for example th these are kind of st like still graphics right now but i'm sure that uh, there must be you can find the ones that move like this right here it basically goes on like this right now uh, it is just you know loading right now so that's why it's not moving so you can add like you can see that this one right here it is basically kind of you know animating itself so you can just find something like these and you can have them installed other uh, rather than the still images so it basically going to it is going to make the whole thing a little bit more interactive than just the simple mic showing itself so you can add these kind of things as well so the ones that have this sign this you know this crown sign be, uh, beneath them are the ones that are available for the pro versions so there's some pricing versions on canva as well right now i'm using the canva free and you can see that these are all the things that i'm going to get on it but if you want to use uh, canva for a professional purpose or you are willing to invest some kind of money then you can uh, go and buy a canva for it the pro version of canva and also you can buy the canva for teams so in here you're going to get all of these things you're going to get the cloud storage of one tv 100 plus million premium stock photos videos and audio and graphics so these are all the things that you're gonna get for 84 dollars 84.90 dollars and the canva pro is for 54 dollars and i think that you can resize designs infinitely with magic resize schedule social media content to eight platforms you have a cloud storage of one tv so there are a lot of things that you get integrated into your canva just by when you buy a new version and as you can see that there are a lot of things that are you know if only for the pro versions and that are not available for you so if you are using it for a professional purpose then i would recommend you to go and uh, you know buy canva otherwise if you're just a student and want to have a good presentation or want to create something good then i think it is fine if you just go on with the free one so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you